Hey, what's going on, guys? Silver Cash and Darkness here, and welcome to Off. Now, this is an RPG game that I've been wanting to play for a really, really long while. Um, if anyone remembers any of the vlogs that I've been doing previously, where Ash and I have been, most recently Onicon. If you remember the Onicon vlog, you might remember that outfit that Ash was wearing. Really cool outfit. And this is where the ge and this is the game where it's from. So we're gonna go ahead and skip all this and get right to it. I have no idea what to expect. I'm literally going to be This is achievement we would like to dedicate this third and final version of the English off translation to the Henry of the and Judge. Rest in peace. Aww. Caution. It is possible that certain scenes in this game may prove shocking to an unwarned public. Or maybe not. The soundtrack and, and sound effects of off created by Alias Conrad Go Coldwood. Is that Goldwood or Coldwood? Are an important part of the game. It would be a shame to play without them. Unproductive fun time. Alright. Let's see. Enter your name. Hmm. What if I just type in the full. Can I do the whole. Sure, three S's, why not? My name is Seductus, correct? Yes. I'm a boy. Alright. I mean, last I checked. Alright. Welcome, Shadarkness. You have been assigned to a being called the Batter. The Batter is on a mission. Be sure that it is accomplished. We will let you both both out in Zone Zero. Good luck. For more information, find the one called the Judge. Oh. Sorry, got my phone went off for a moment. To move your body, use the arrows on your keyboard. To interact with the environment, use the spacebar or the enter key. Okay. Can I act with those things? Okay, it's not. Hmm. Zone zero. Hello. What was, what was that noise? There cannot be any living beings in Zone Zero. Hence, I deduce that you're a pure figment of my imagination. Nevertheless, I will accuse of her. I am the judge. I am aching to know your name, dear lizard interlocutor. I am the batter. I have been trusted with a sacred mission. It is a pleasure. Although it, it was not the body I was addressing, the soul that it harbors. What is your name, Controller? His name is Shadarkness. He can't talk to us. However, he can see and hear everything. Even though you are, t you too are but an imaginary specter in my eyes. Let it be said that I am delighted to meet you as well, dear Shadarkness. Why did I choose three S's? I believe we need your help. Many people are in need of my services, you know. Everybody loves cats. Rub ourselves against their legs and purr in, the most, in a most insistent manner. They know that. I'm not talking about that kind of help. I see. But what sort of service can I offer to an ectoplasmic entity? I have a sacred mission to fulfill. I must purify the world. Is that just a constant purring noise I keep hearing? There is no objective more laudable than yours. I accept to serve you as a guide through this area. It's full of any help to you. Thanks. Did he just jump up or something? Oh, oh okay, that's... Okay. It's impossible to get around that obstacle. Aw, oh, but I want the chest. What is this? Quite peculiar. This might be... I need to write this down. Hang on a second. I'm gonna write this down, because this looks important. This looks important. C. Okay, because that might be important for later. Okay. A luck ticket has been found. What's a luck ticket do? Recover the modern amount of entry. Okay. Allow me to inform you that I find you quite tangible for a 
phantasmagorial being. Might you in fact be a person of flesh and blood? I think so. And I was mistaken from the beginning. And you did not even interrupt me in my fanciful phantasms. This is re relatively bizarre, I must say. For you are the first living being I was given to encounter this place. I had, incidentally, concluded that Zone Zero was an empty land. It is all too obvious that I was led astray. However, there exist other zones, and in those territories, hostile individuals might attack you violent, most violently. Your sacred mission will likely lead, lead you into these lands. Would you like me to acquaint you with, an, with the art of violent confrontation? How much do I Sure. Purification for this. This is the battle school. As you can make There we go. As you can observe, you will find yourself placed at the right hand side of the screen. I'm seem to be a little shaking over there. Your opponent, however, in the case of yours truly, will be located on the left, the correct place for a single combat. At the beginning of combat, your choice will be presented to you, and it's between attack and auto. Naturally, attack allows you to engage a fight in classical fashion. If auto is your choice, your computer, your computer will make strategic decisions in your place, turning you into a simple spectator. But now, it is the time to make an attack. Choose attack, select the batter, then attack to a new and slay me with your bat. Do not utilize the auto function. The computer will not restrain itself, and I fear I would die, taking my secrets with me to the grave. Sure. Excellent, dear sportive companion. Know that both the level of the batter and that his opponent can determine the impact of your assaults. It is also possible for you or your adversaries to slyly avoid the offensive moves you will exchange. Finally, on occasion, your concrete wall may allow you to release a critical strike, causing teeth to fly in heaps. But let's proceed, if you are willing to. You may have noticed that when you first choose attack upon selecting the batter, a new window opens itself at the lower right hand corner of the screen. There you have a choice between four new options. Attack lets you carry out a soul strike against likewise soul adversary. Combatist permits you to use one of your special talents. Objects let you access the inventory you are presently carrying. Finally, three is the option of the coward. While I dehort from this alternative, know that the only the badger may select it in his personal menu. So let us attempt to you as an item. Take this luck ticket and graciously use it on the battle screen. On battle screen. Luck ticket. Ah, that's loud. I need to... Okay. Turn that down. So... Impeccable. The mastery of battle board is on brilliancy, my friend. There's one thing we have not yet addressed. I am of course thinking about com talking about well, competences. Compet competences. They are, generally speaking, special moves that trigger surprisingly effect surprising effects. It may be that they are particularly powerful attacks, or such that they indu induce a resurgence of health points. Nevertheless, know this. Any use of competences leads to a consumption of competence points. So I suggest that you use your skills or parsimony. Once persimony. Once your CP are consumed, once it does meet is consumed, it will be impossible to carry out heavy assaults. And if by some mischance you happen to cross swords with a tougher opponent before recovering some feet and some CP, your victory will be uncertain. But let us try what I choose competence and try using wide angle which will allow you to analyze your enemy. Judge, crypt, a cryptic free line of odd appearance. If you can hide your NCD, no weaknesses resist. You now know not only all about my attributes, but also about my art of the combat. How about the wide angle? Know that its analysis will always be based on the start of the battle. Thus, it may act in an adversaries you have already knocked down for a long time. The confrontation ends, theoretically, when the health points of your team or all your opponents fall to zero. Take good care of your health if you want a successful career in purification. From now on, you will be ready to disclose all impure obstacles that dare appear in your luminous mission's way. Well, supposing your intelligence is on the same level with your undeniable ca capability of dealing back blows to an innocent cat, be it as it may, 
Your training has not reached its end yet. Let me ask you to follow me. If you still want to be if you still want me to see that. Okay, bye! Okay. Quite peculiar. Ah yes. To pass through, it will be necessary to use the cerebral organ correctly. You know, the one bathing flabbily into a cranium. I think that these floating blocks correspond, in some way or another, to the symbols you can see on the wall. Hmm. I think the weather's nice outside. Think? Ah yes, to pass through it will be necessary to use the cerebral wall. Oh, okay. It's the same thing. Hmm. It's something to do with that, uh... Four, four... Four, four, eight... Two, eight, seven... What the hell is C? Nope, okay. <laughs> I thought I had to type C on the keyboard. Oh! Huh. Okay. Hello. Here we have an accessory that will prove especially useful to your purifying quest. Dear enlightened student and supportive friend, it is a cube floating in the air, as you have probably noticed. Nevertheless, you will be able to differentiate it from its ilk. By the contrast of its clashing colors, assaulting your gaze with bad taste and defying any sensible cause of blasted arts. Do not judge it too quickly, however, for despite its criticizable appearance, the great cube is of undeniable use. As of as I from restoring the entirety of your health and competence points, it is capable of saving your progress and sending you to the nothingness. The nothingness is a place of transition outside of space itself. Why you can travel from one point to another at the speed of light. I now invite you to try that yourself in order to discover locations more populous than this desert. Open your wings, my dear companion, and fly towards the floating zones without hesitation. Your only enemy is the fear that will grab you. Okay. Do not worry yourself. I too travel much different. I too travel much between the different zones of the world. Perhaps we will come to meet again. Ah, by the by. Take this. This will the item appears named will be the key that I should permit you to enter this zone for. To clarify, to clarify that you can at any moment consult your inventory and characteristics by pressing the escape key. Leo cards. Go on and write the information behind you. How about some save game? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, what? D 
This got creepy quick. It's possible to enter, but you need the adequate ability to cut. I thought I had that. Okay. So zero, so one, and two. Yes. Ooh. Okay, now we're making progress. Tramway number one is a very useful means of transport to get to the different areas of zone one. Please select a destination. Damien? by Shadarkness. Ah, I don't know him. He must be a, more, a member of superior personnel. In any case, that's good. That means our request has been approved. Come, I'm going to explain our, our task. Ooh. Um, you are here in the smoke mine of, of Damien, in the south of zone number one. You always send laborers into deep tunnels to unearth metal from the ground. Bring trapped smoke from the depths. I see. Using various tools, we put some of it into bottles, which the queen sends to the other zones. The rest of it flows free and forms the air that our lungs inhale and exhale, uh, so we can live. It is an essential element, the first among the four elements. Because without smoke, people would have nothing to breathe. And, uh, there we are. And so, well, uh, how do I put this? Where are the impures? That breathing is just, uh, That's unsettling. Uh, yes, there we go. There are many specters in the mines, and they are getting more and more aggressive. But, uh, in fact, it would be good if you wouldn't go there, because regulations forbid access to the smoke mines for visitors. So, uh, here's what, to, here's what we're going to do. There, there is an annex tunnel that nobody ever goes to, but a miner went, into the, went in there some time ago. He saw nothing, something strange, he said. Nothing like the usual. So, I thought, yeah, that's the leader of the Spectres. Uh, so there we are. If you would accept... If you accept, you'll go into the an annex mine and kill the leader of the Spectres. Then, the Spectres will disappear, and we can work properly again. There we go. There are, uh... Do you have any questions? No. Ah, great. I impeccable. The tunnel is right down there. Me, I'll wait for you here. Uh, well, do you understand? This way, after you're done, we can work again. That'd be great. Soon I might be promoted. I'll be able to do surveillance in Alma. I'm anxious for that to happen. A luck ticket's been found. Yay! More luck tickets. Okay. Hmm. Well, well, what do we have here? It's the. Is that not Sir Darkness and his charming jumping Gladjack the Batter? Might be. Might you be the Spectre's leader? 
No, no, certainly not. I am only passing through, not unlike a smoke which is being extracted from this pale and metallic place. However, I I believe you I know where the one you take from an emptoplasm can be found. To tell the truth, I am a perplexed. I think that it is the it is one of those peculiar things called a spherical anon. I have a very well I have very well tried to appropriate it, but the operation has systematically failed. But I am thinking, maybe you, one who is not of physical matter, will perhaps succeed in binding the spiritual entity of yours. Okay. I don't know if I has joined you. What an exceptionally in intriguing phenomenon. I must admit that I remain perplexed by this unexpected metaphysical reaction. Fair enough. Since I have decided to accompany you, I I know all me too. I advise you to make the best possible use of it. Got it. The leader of the Spectres isn't here? Apologies, but I figured I have to, I have to respond in negative. This add-on aside, I have not crossed paths with a single moving soul in this place. There's nothing here. This is sort of spot of what I'm peculiarly fond of. What you seek is a, isn't certainly located elsewhere. Okay. Ah, you've returned! So you have killed the, uh, leader of the Spectres? No, I wasn't there. Oh, uh, oh? Really? I... Okay. Crap, I... Well, then, uh... I believe that I'll have to let you enter into the main gorgeous then. But, um... The regulations are against it. Alright, uh... I... I suppose that... This is a very special case. As stated in paragraph 5. So, uh... Good well. Good, well, the main lines are on the right. There. Thank you. Hello. There are phantoms down there. They keep us from working properly. But this is my break time anyway. Cool. Enjoy your break. What are you doing here? Are you part of the mine inspection personnel? Okay. You come to unlimited specters? That's good news. The lamps don't always work in the end most corridors, and since everything looks the same around here, it's easy to get lost. There are phantoms and all the tunnels. Be careful, sir. Besides, who has let you enter here? Normally the regulations prohibit external visitors. Show yourselves, corrupted children. I am the voice of forgiveness that will eliminate your ill-fated fault. <laughs> Jesus! Prepare yourself to receive my judgment. Purification of Oh shit! That damage is me? That's a lot of luck tickets. This anon is, fi is fighting by my side. That's useful. Let's verify the other galleries. Oh, verse. There. How points to come to the Oh. The yellow books don't allow you to return to nothing else. Fouls. Nice! 
so he's purified. Skein, yay. I like the I like the battle music for this. This is nice. It's nice music. Oh. Oh. Saturated string has been acquired. Special attack with low impact. Cool. Actually, you know what? Let's keep let's keep right. Let's keep right. Let's let's just keep going. Oh, that way. Hello. Ugh. Hi, ugly. It's probably it's only like it's only gonna save first base acquired. It's only gonna I bet it's probably gonna only work for a certain amount of time. Restore some HP. Oh okay, that's handy. Boop. Okay, that's a dead end. Door. It seems to be locked from the inside. All right, so. this way. Maybe there might be something.
cows! Our work consists of cutting livestock in two and extracting the metallic rocks contained within the cat. All the metal of coal quality is discarded, forming the ground we walk on. It is a purifying process to create objects. Part of it is also put into crates and sent to other zones, so they all so they have objects in soil as well, I suppose. It is an essential element, the first among the four elements. Because without metal, people would have nothing to walk on, and they would sink and drown. There, and so, there are specters in the large, in the large cow sheds. I must purify the mines first. Ah, yes. But the cow sheds aren't that big, and, uh, it'd be great if you took care of them fast, because Queen's Inspector is going to arrive at any moment. So, please, could you do the cow sheds first? Alright. Ah, great. Thank you. Thank you so much. The cow sheds are over there, to the right. They aren't big at all, you'll see. It's going to be done super quickly. Yeah, we'll see about that. Okay. What'd that do? That was a fish! For working here with smoke mines, at least you benefit from the outside air. One shouldn't get attached to animals, once you are, it gets difficult to put your hands inside. Cool! Can't do anything about that, it just showed a fish. Okay. These balls are heaps of processed metal, which are going to be sent to other zones. They're, uh, metallic. They're going to destroy the specters? Hurry up! We're expecting the Queen's Inspector at any moment! Won't just pay close attention to the nutrition of the animals if you want high-quality metal. Sure. Yeah, let's say. Okay, I'm gonna end the episode here. Holy... <laughs> this got creepy really quickly. Like... Like... I did, like, I did expect that there would be horror elements in this, but... Okay! <laughs> but, we're gonna continue on, and I'm gonna go ahead and continue on more of this in the same recording session. This is gonna be, I'm... I'm excited to see where this goes, so thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys are having an awesome day, night, morning, evening, wherever you are in the world. So, I'm excited! I'm excited to keep going with this and see where this all goes. So thank you guys so much again, and of course, as usual, I will see you guys next video. Bye-bye!